Sundays, coming straight from Sunday school to here to produce what you're going to see tonight or today. Thank you to everybody for coming out on such a lovely day. And, uh, it shows the true commitment of parents, grandparents, friends, and I had the cast take a peek at you. They're so excited. They're going to do a great job. Hey, well, the boy you're here, it's not your me talk. So, uh, if everybody got a program, you know, that's good. Well, welcome and enjoy Jewish community youth theater production of Herschel and the Hanukkah Dom. It was the first night of Hanukkah. Hershel of Oshpol was walking down the road. He was tired and hungry, but he was stepping lightly. Soon he would reach the next village where he was sure that bright candles, merry Hanukkah songs, and platters piled high with tasty potato latkes the waiter down. Shalom everyone. I'm Hershel of Ostropol. But it's so dark here. Isn't tonight the first night of Hanukkah? We don't have Hanukkah, Herschel. No, Hanukkah? How could that be? It's because of the goblins. Oh. They have those in the hill. They hate Hanukkah. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
<laughs> they think our dreadful to be for our potato lockers on the floor. Oh. Hey. Oh, so Those wicked goblins make our lives miserable all year round. <laughs> I can help. I'm not afraid of goblins. Rabbi, is there anything that I might be able to do? You must spend all eight nights in the old synagogue. The candles must be lit each night. On the eighth night, the queen of the goblins will come. You must trick her into lighting all eight candles. Only then will her power be broken. I'm not afraid, Rabbi. If I can't outfit a few goblins, my name isn't Herschel of Osterbold. Do you have any potato lockers to give you to eat? I understand. Here's a bag of hard boiled eggs. Oh, yum. Okay. Here's enough cans for a whole night. Okay, whoa. I'm sure that is in the bag. Here's the synagogue's old brass menorah. Oh, how beautiful. Wow. Here's your jar of kosher pickles. Oh, right. <laughs> And here's a box of wooden matches to light some. Thank you. That's pretty necessary. <laughs> Somebody else might have something for me there. <laughs> ah, dreidel to help me pass the time. Wonderful. Okay. Go I don't think he's gonna come back alive. <laughs> goodbye, Herschel, and good luck. Well, goodbye, everybody. It was long past sundown by the time Herschel climbed to the top of the hill where the old synagogue stood. The crumbling building was gloomy and dark. Rusty hinges squealed when Herschel opened the door. Herschel shuddered. Well, could he believe the goblins lived here?
On the second night of Hanukkah, another goblin appeared. This one was big and fat and waddled like a goose. Herschel was finishing his dinner of hard-boiled eggs and pickles.
The third night came, Herschel felt something watching him as he set the shops and three candles of menorah. Instead of lighting them, he began playing with the dreidel. Herschel looked up. Sitting across the table was another goblin. This one had two heads. It's getting late. When are you going to light the Hanukkah candles? Later. There's plenty of time. This is much more fun. What are you playing with? It looks like a top. It's called the dreidel. Don't you know about dreidels? Too bad, dreidels are lots of fun. You can also make lots of money, if you know how to play. Really? The goblin was interested now. All goblins like money, and this one was no exception. How do you play? It's very simple, but you must have gold. Do you have any gold? I have plenty. Is this enough? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's what we do. Listen carefully now. This letter is Shin. If it comes up, you give me a handful of gold. This letter is Hey. If it comes up, you give me half of your gold. This letter is Gimel. If it comes up, you give me all of your gold. Wait, there's one letter left. What about that one? Oh, that's none. If the cradle falls on none, I don't have to give you any gold. <laughs> Are you ready to play? Okay, let's put some coins down and you go first.
On the following nights, the other goblins came, one had six heads, one had three eyes, all were terrible and fierce. They growled and roared. They tried to stop Herschel from lighting the Hanukkah candles, but Herschel fooled them all. The seventh night arrived. The shamus and three seven candles flickered on the windowsill. Herschel sat back to enjoy the light. Where were the goblins? Had they finally given up? Herschel felt very sleepy. His eyes closed. chance, but he had to take it. It was the only way to save himself and to save Hanukkah for the village. set the candles in the menorah, but instead of placing it on the windowsill, he put the menorah in the box of matches on a small table near the door. Then he said, sat down to wait.
I'll believe it when I see it. Show yourself to me. Behold, I stand before you. Do you believe me now? Herschel tried not to look. Even in the darkness, he could see the outline of the monstrous shape filling the doorway, a figure too horrible to describe. He pretended not to care. It's too dark. I can't see anything. A candlestick and some matches are by the doorway. Why don't you light a few candles? Then, I'll see what you really are. Now, Herschel, do you believe who I am? A match flared. The shaman's candle caught the flame. Herschel's blood turned to water at the awful sight before him, but he did not lose courage. Master of the universe, you who have protected our people for many thousands of years, please be with me now. It's still too dark. What are you afraid of? There are plenty of candles there. Why don't you light them all?
It's so quiet now. The entire old synagogue is gone. But this menorah is still in. Who would have believed it? When these candles have burned down, I'd better hurry back to the village. I don't want to miss the last night of Hanukkah with my new friends. I can see the menorahs all the way from here, being lit for the first time this Hanukkah on this last night. Goblins are defeated.